Ariana Huffington, the founder of the Huffington Post in 2005, was not only or is not only a great journalist, she became very well known for her blogs and she became a very, very important influencer too. Now, it's not the original idea only that makes entrepreneurs great. It's also a few principles that they follow which make them great entrepreneurs. So this video is about Ariana and the three of her success secrets. So stay with us. Hey, my name is Armin L. Rao. I'm the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur, and I'd like to help you to become a great leader. I've been a leader, coach, and entrepreneur for more than 20 years, and now I'm producing these videos to help other entrepreneurs to develop their leadership skills. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, just click on the red button below and subscribe to my channel now. Ariana Huffington is actually of Greek provenance and she went to the UK at the age of 16. Still today she speaks with quite a strong Greek accent so that could be a perceived weakness but in general she never really cared about it and she developed her strengths and no matter how she spoke she could actually she could actually become successful. She also does not have the most uh, the richest parents in the world, even though her father, I think, was a journalist too, but she really had to build it herself. I can identify with that because I don't come from a rich family and through certain principles that I applied, I became successful. So the first principle is don't be limited by your perceived weaknesses. Don't be limited by your perceived weaknesses. Just do not take them too seriously. Go your own way and you're going to be successful. The success secret number two is to learn from motivational quotes of your childhood. So think about the motivational quotes that you had heard in your childhood. Ariana's mother, for example, said that she should just learn from her mistakes and not worry too much. Watch it. What a wise woman. If we learn from our mistakes, we become better. Or as Boris Becker, the famous tennis player, once said, I have only learned from my defeats. So what is a quote that you remember from your childhood that is motivational? My two that will be with me for the rest of my life is the first one from my mom who said, listen, Armin, what you've got here in your head, nobody's going to take it away from you, which meant that I should always learn and, you know, work well at school. And my father said to me once, also at the age of 11 or 12, Armin, you always have to do a little bit more than the average. Right, a little bit more than the average. That is from my childhood. And that's how I became a performer. So remember the motivational quotes of your childhood and that is going to be a major lever for your success. Ariana Huffington's secret number three, from my point of view, this is my interpretation, you know, maybe she would say something else, but I believe that she is very good at defining what success is for her. Success can be money, of course, and it can be status, and it can be a Porsche. But on the other hand, if you have all this already, what are you, go what are you going to do then? Then you have to look for another definition for success, and it can't be just these, let's say, quote, trivial things. Ariana, for example, said that her measurement of success is to always stay curious and to give. Yeah, that is absolutely important. So what is your measure of success? How do you define it? As a conclusion, there are three things that we can learn from Ariana Huffington. First of all, do not stick to the limitations of your perceived weaknesses. Don't take these limitations seriously, just ignore them. Then remember the motivational quotes of your childhood, like learn from your mistakes or as my mom would say what you've learned nobody's going to take take it away from you and number three define your measure of success now the life program is going to teach you more of these principles of good leadership for entrepreneurs within weeks if you 
don't want to miss any of this content, subscribe to my channel by clicking on the button below. Give me a thumbs up or share this video if you liked it. I'd be really pleased. My name is Armin Rao. I was really happy of having you looking here at the famous pyramid in front of the Louvre, just loving it. And uh, I hope that uh, you will go on on your trip. And if you have a question, just leave a comment underneath this video. Speak soon and don't forget, lead yourself.